good Easter weekend, everybody. I was looking for a uh, fun nostalgia computer project because uh, I have I was a previous Apple II owner, still am an Apple II owner, and every once in a while I have to turn it on and and play some of the games that I have. But I got to thinking, you know, I've I've had these games forever, and one thing I've never been able to get is the original Oregon Trail and the original Number Munchers on an actual Apple II. You can play these through the emulators that are available online, of course, but I was looking for an actual, honest-to-goodness, five-and-a-quarter-inch floppy copy of these. So I began to do a little bit of research on how I could accomplish this, and there's a really cool utility on the Internet called ADT Pro. It's available from adtpro.sourceforge.net. And uh, this software uses a null modem cable, which you can make up if you've got to some basic uh, engineering skills. And... Um, it connects your PC and your Apple II together to send these disk images that you can download freely off the internet. Actually send them over to the Apple II um, and I would just like to demonstrate this. This was my project for the day. This is the ADT Pro software at sourceforge.net and uh, I've already downloaded this software and everything so I'm just going to go through a bootstrapping process because of course you have this ADT Pro tool, but how do you actually get this tool over to the Apple II? There's a bootstrapping program, and here's what it looks like. Um, the PC side client. I'm currently connected on my serial cable. I'm going to go over to my Wozniak Limited Edition 2GS, and I'm going to fire it up. I'm going to fire up the hard drive first. Let that get going. All right, we'll fire it up. It still starts up faster than a modern day PC. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and exit out to DOS right now. Actually, I'm going to actually go out and uh, quit and park the heads of this hard drive. I'm actually going to shut that down because I want a fresh start here with no DOS on this computer. Okay, I'll drop out to DOS. The command I'm going to use on this Apple to initialize the internal modem card is IN number IN number 2 and then I'll go control A and then I'm just gonna go back over to the PC here and I'm gonna pull down bootstrapping I'm going to bootstrap over ProDOS using the speedy boot technique. It's going to tell me I need to set the baud rate or the transfer rate between the two computers by typing in 14B as well. I need to verify that number. So over here I'll type in 14B. And when I hit OK, you'll notice that the PC actually sends a machine language program over to the 2GS. It's like the old style basic programs you used to get out of the PC computing magazines you used to type in manually to produce some cheap program. It'd take you two hours to punch in the program and you wouldn't get that much enjoyment out of it after you finished typing it in. But as you can see it's done with the machine language program and it's actually starting up now. It's loading the rest of the software. PC side shows you exactly how far the transfer rate is along. I'm going to pretend I'm doing a food network show here and I'm going to just stop and uh, so we don't need to wait for the progress bar to move on here. So after you get done with the bootstrapping process uh, you'll notice that the ADT DOS application is now showing up on my Apple II GS. So, pretty cool. You've got the program now, so now what can we do with it? Uh, this is the program that we use to transfer over the images which we've previously downloaded off the internet. By the way, you can download a lot of free Apple II software by doing a Google search for Asimov Apple, uh, A-S-I-M-O-V, Apple. There's a whole archive of virtually every game and program made for the Apple II series. So the first thing I'm going to do after I bring this up, I've got a blank five and a quarter inch floppy 
disk in drive 2, which is on the bottom here. So I'm going to hit C to configure my client here first. And I'll switch the disk drive over to 2 and hit enter. At this point, I'm going to hit D, for, which is uh, short for DIR, the old DOS command. This shows me a directory of the disks that I've downloaded. You'll notice that this program, the ADT Pro application, I just have sitting on my desktop of my Windows 8 machine. So this is what I've downloaded. You'll see number munchers and a couple of disks of Oregon Trail on there. So I'm going to take number munchers here and I'm going to make a five and a quarter inch disk. The hardest part of this whole process is hitting R for receive and actually remembering the exact file name. Number munchers dot DSK. You hit enter and it goes right to work. The I's you see there is the transfer from the PC. The W's you see is actually writing to the floppy disk. You can see the light on the floppy disk. It does this in several waves. To give you some idea of the length of time it takes to do this, it's almost virtually done. It's got one wave left here. But this is only 180K being being uh, saved on one side of a five and a quarter inch disk. Uh, today, you know, saving a 180K file would take, a, you know, a few milliseconds. So we're finished here now. I'm going to flop out my disk that I just made, and I'm going to put it up in drive one. Drive one, and I'm going to reboot my machine. And I'm going to go PR number 6 to boot off of the disk in drive 1. And there we have it. It's loading up, and there we go. So we took a, a program that's on the internet, which you can play with an emulator, but it's not quite the same as playing it on an actual authentic Apple II GS. And uh, for, for somebody that loves computer history and uh, the nostalgia behind old computer games, what a great project on a rainy morning. <laughs>